Hello Leute, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel German from scratch. And our today's topic is regular verbs. Regular verbs in Deutsch is called as regelmäßige Verben. Regelmäßige Verben, yeah, which is regular verbs. So now let's see the first regular verb which is common common which means to come so guys usually in deutsch we remember all the verbs yeah in infinitive form so this common is in infinitive form yeah which means to come and most probably all the verbs yeah all the verbs in infinitive form ends with en which is an in deutsch right so this en is called as verb endung verb endung and whatever comes before en yeah whatever comes before en is called as verb stamp verb stamp En is called as verb endung and whatever comes before en is verb stamp. Yeah, and this is in infinitive form. So, as I said, again, all the verbs in Deutsch we remember in infinitive form and it usually, yeah, it usually ends with en. Right? So, now we are going to learn how to conjugate the regular verbs ish comma aus indian so we've taken the example ish comma aus indian which means i come from india so now if you see here common the verb common is conjugated as comma comma and this conjugation depends on the subject, right? It depends on the subject. So, whenever we conjugate regular verbs, yeah, in this case, the regular verb is common. So, whenever you conjugate regular verbs, usually verb stem, verb stem is always the same. It remains constant. What keeps changing is verb endung. Yeah, verb endung, which is why if you see verb stem, in this case verb stem is com. Yeah, so this is the same and the ending is changed. So for ish, the ending is a. Yeah, a. In Deutsch, e is a. So it's ish, comma, aus, Indian. I come from India. So now let's see the conjugation or the verb ending. For the other personal pronoun. Right? So, as discussed for ish, verb ending is a. Yeah? So, now first we will see the verb ending for all the, all the other personal pronoun. For ish, it's a. Ending is a. Do, it's s t s t z Z it's a n a n a or s z ending is t yeah it's t we it's a n ear ear it for ear it's t t z again for z it's a n Again, one more Z, it's A-N, yeah? So, for Z, it's, for three Zs, it's A-N. Only for this Z, which means she, yeah? Ending is T. So, guys, in case you've not gone through the video personal pronomen, I would suggest, please go through the video personal pronomen and the link for this is given in the description below. First, you got to learn personal pronoun and then verb ending, right? 
So now we know verb endome for all the personal pronoun, right? So now let's conjugate the verb common. So common means to come. Now let's conjugate the verb common and this is in infinitive form. And you know how to conjugate first? You will write the verb stam, which is com, and the ending keeps changing, right? So for ish, it's comma, comma. Verb stam, ending is a, comma, ish, comma. Do, comst, verb stam und este. We'll add st. So for z ending is an. We'll write com and then an. And it becomes common. Just like in infinitive form. So infinitive form also it's common. And even for z if we conjugate it is common. Right? Ayo. Comt. For ayo it's comt. S. Comt. Z. Comt. We are. We are also it's common. Just because the ending is an. Ear. Comt. Comt. Z. Common. Z. Common. Right? So it's ish. Comma. Do. Comst. Z. Common. Air. S. Z. Comt. We are common. Ear comt, z common, z common. So if you want to translate, what would this mean? It is I come, you come, you come, he comes, she comes, yeah, we come, you all come, they come, right? This is what it means. So now let's conjugate other verb. Yeah, verb conjugation, verb conjugation. In Deutsch it is verb conjugation, verb conjugation, verb conjugation. So now we are going to conjugate the verb wohnen. So infinitive form is wohnen, which means to live. Yeah, to live. So over here verb stem is Wohn and en is the endome, right? So now let's conjugate this verb. Ish, wo, na, wohn, na. So endome for ish, endome is e, and we've added the verb stem. So it's ish, wo, na. Du, wohnst, este, du, wohnst, sie, wohnen. Air as the won't. Te. Won't. We are. Wohnen. Ear. Won't. The. Wohnen. The. Wohnen. Now let's see once again. Ish. Wohna. Du. Wohnst. The. Wohnen. Air. Won't. S. Won't. The. Won't. We are. Wohnen, ihr wohnt, sie wohnen, sie wohnen. Right? Let's see a few examples. Ich wohne in Mumbai. So this means I live in Mumbai. So now if you see, I have conjugated the verb wohnen as per the subject. Right? So it's Ish wohne. Web stam on A. Ish wohne in Mumbai. I live in Mumbai. Du wohnst in London. It's du. Yeah? So if it's du and you want to use the verb wohnen, how will you conjugate it? Web stam on st. So web stam on st. Du wohnst in London. You live in London. Maria won't in Berlin. So Maria. So Maria is third person singular, right? Which is Z. It means she. 
So Maria is she, right? Z. Maria won't. So we'll use won't here because this is third person singular. It's Maria won't in Berlin. Are you guys clear? Right? So these are other four regular verbs which you can conjugate in the same way. It's lernen, lernen, which means to learn. Machen, machen, which means to do. Spielen, spielen, it means to play. Trinken, trinken, trinken is to drink. So, these are other four regular verbs which you can try conjugating in the same way. So, these are the endings, E and ending and the, and these, these letters before, these are called as verb stem. Yeah, learn, mark, spiel, drink. And these are the endung. So, try conjugating in the same way. In case of any query, please put it on the comment section below. Right? So, until then, cheers! Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Danke!